So let us look at 2021, paper 2. Uh, it's saying given that, this is in general, given that A is equal to V minus K U <coughs> over T. Okay? Then the question is saying, make U the subject of the formula. They want us to change the subject of the formula to U. So in our case, the subject of the formula, it is this letter which is on our left hand side line. So they want us to make U the subject of the formula. Okay? So they want us to change from A to U. So step number one, we're going to say over one U. Divide by one. Then you close multiply. Okay? And say, we're going to multiply this one. One multiplied by U, sorry, V minus K U is equal to, then I'm going to multiply this A multiplied by T. Okay? So we can move on. So one times V get V. Uh, one times negative k u gets negative k u is equal to uh, one times sorry a times t gets a t that is a times t gets a t now what are we making the subject of? we're making u the subject of the formula we're making u the subject of the formula so what are we going to do in this case we're going to group the like terms okay whichever term as uh, does not consist of u should be moved on the other side like in this case uh, this one is v so this one is not a U term, so I'm going to take that side. So I'm going to mean with negative a K U is equal to A T. Now this one, when we transpose this one on the <coughs> other side, the way to avoid this one is positive. So this side is going to become a negative what? Negative V. Okay, so for us to mean with U, we're making you the subject of the formula. So we need to get rid of this. We need to remove this negative K. So how do you remove this one? Just divide both sides by the same. Negative K. Even the side over negative what k. So these two are going to go, we are going to mean with u is equal to a t minus v over negative k as our answer. So we've subjected this expression to a t to u. We've made you the subject of the formula. Let us look at 2019 paper 2. Uh, it says given that s is equal to a plus r over 1 minus r. Then we are told to make r the subject of the formula. So in this case, which letter is the subject of the formula? Our subject is what? S. But they want us to change from S to what? R. So step number one, as usual, you say over 1, then close multiply, meaning they're going to multiply 1 multiplied by a plus r. Close is equal to, then you're going to multiply s multiplied by 1 minus r. Okay, so let us move on. So 1 times a you get a plus 1 times r you get r is equal to s times 1 you get s, s times uh, negative r you get negative s, s r. Okay, so in this case, since we are making r the subject of the formula, we are supposed to group the r terms together. So this one is r. So you will get r, which other term was with r? This is negative SR. So this is positive this side, negative this side. This side is negative. When you transpose this one on the other side, they're going to have positive SR is equal to S, this side. Then this A doesn't have R, so we're going to take this side. So this side is positive. When you take this side, it's going to become what? Negative A. Okay? Then since we've grouped the, the R terms together, R, R, R terms together, so we're going to factorize. Here we factorize. So we're going to factor out the common factor, which is R. So see, R is common. Then you open the brackets. Then you divide. R into R is what? One. So you write this one. Yeah? Then plus R into R is one. One times S, you get S. Okay? It's equal to S minus A. Then for us to make with R, you need this. Just stay over one plus S. Even this side. 1 plus s. So these two are going to go. R is equal to s minus a over 1 plus s as our answer. So we subjected these two. R. Let us look at 2018. So 2018, paper 2, in general it's saying uh, given that, given that what? Given that p is equal to 8 plus plus p over q. Make Q the subject of the formula. So
So they want to subject this, they want us to subject this expression to what? To Q. They want us to make you the subject of the formula. So in our case, P is the subject of the formula. But they want us to change the subject from P to what? Q. Okay? Now here, be very, very careful. This Q, it is only appearing to P. Okay? It is P minus Q. Not 8, not 8 plus P over Q. This is not the way it is, but it is it. So it's like 8, it's 8 over what? Here it's 8 over 1. Then P over Q. Okay? So this Q is only affected, it is only affecting what? P. Okay? It is only divided into what? P, not 8. Okay? So what you are going to do is, you are going first to work out this expression on our right hand side for now. Okay? So we are going to maintain our left hand side first. We deal with this, this part. Let us do this part first. So we maintain P is equal to... Now, in this case, for us to deal with this one, remember in grade 1, if you have got something like in grade 3, grade 4, somewhere there, if you have got something like 2, let's say over 1, plus 3, let's say over 2. Here, what we used to do is to find the lowest common denominator of 1 and 2. So, which one is the lowest common denominator? It's 2 So, it's a 2, this is what you used to do. Then you say, uh, 1 into 2 is 2 y. 2 multiplied by 2 get 4 plus. Then 2 into 2 is 1. 1 times 3 you get what? 3. Then you add design. 4 plus uh, 3 you get 7 over 2. This is what we used to do. So we're going to apply the same concept on this one. So in this case, we need to find the lowest common denominator of 1 and Q which is Q. So Q is a common denominator. Then you say uh, 1 into Q is Q. Q times 8 you get 8. 8q plus q into q is 1. 1 times p you get p. Okay? Now in this case, 8q plus p, these are not like terms. We cannot add these because this is q, this is p. You cannot add. These are unlike terms. Okay? So since we cannot add these terms, we are going to uh, leave this expression the way it is as of now. Then you can now balance up and say over 1. Okay, then you can now cross multiply and say uh, P times Q, then 1 times 8Q plus P. So I'm saying I'm going to multiply this one, multiply it by 8Q plus P is equal to, we are going to multiply P multiplied by, by Q. Okay, so 1 times 8Q get 8Q plus 1 times P get P is equal to P times Q, get P, PQ. Now, we are making Q the subject of the formula. So we are going to collect the like terms. So Q terms together, we have got this term and this term. They're supposed to be on the, on our left hand side. So we have got 8, Q, this one is positive. When you transpose, going to become what? Negative P, Q is equal to, this one is doesn't have QI. So we need to take it this side. So this one is positive. So this side is going to become negative P. So, since we have grouped the Q terms together, we are going to factorize. So, what is common? Q. Q is common, right? Then open the brackets. Q into Q is 1. 1 times uh, 8, you get 8. Minus. Q into Q is 1. 1 times P, you get, you get P. is equal to negative P. So, making Q the subject of the formula, we need to remove this. So, how do you remove this? Just divide. So, we say over... 8 minus p. What you do this side, you also do it on the other side because of this equal sign. 8 minus p. So these two are going to equal. So q is equal to negative p over 8 minus p. That's our answer. So it's subjected this expression to our t to q. It made q the subject of the formula.